Hello everyone and welcome to week eight. Now week eight, if you look into your week eight folder, you'll see that this week is primarily about using sources and finding sources, or I've got that ba backwards. Um, finding sources first, then using sources afterward and identifying what makes a good source. So your discussion question this week is also very heavily geared toward the finding and using of sources. So you're going to want to make sure you go through all that material in your week eight folder to learn what constitutes a good source and what kind of sources you want to avoid. Now, I also want to encourage you to review the material in your week seven folder when it talks about techniques of persuasion, because you want to, you're going to want to keep those in the back of your mind. You're going to want to keep those strong in your thoughts when you're looking for sources, because the kinds of sources you gravitate to, whether they're reliable or unreliable, strong or weak, is it going to be influenced by the approach you're choosing to take to making your argument and framing your argument? So go back and review that material, particularly as it pertains to ethos, pathos, and logos, the techniques of persuasion. Again, persuasion, at least in politics, seems to be a dying art. So finding Good examples of persuasion may be a little tricky, but there is YouTube content. If you go to YouTube and type ethos, pathos, logos into the search box, you may find some helpful videos there that will really help you get those concepts down. Also, I want to talk to you a little bit about the discussion board and go over again how the discussion board works because there are several of you who are posting regularly and earning the full 10 points regularly. I do not have any worries when a new week starts and I start checking the discussion board that eventually those people will earn a full 10 points. I have some of you who are still earning at the six point level and some of them have questioned me about why they don't earn the full 10. And I want to emphasize again that it's not about whether your response, your initial response, is a high quality response. Most of the ones I get have been very good. But your first response, your initial response to the question, that by itself earns six points. To get the full 10, you have to respond to two of your classmates' posts. So you earn the first six points for your initial response. And then you earn two points for your response to one student, and then two more points points for your response to another student. This is how discussion works. It shouldn't be just between you and me. It should be between you, me, and the others in the classroom. So that's how you earn the full 10 points. Please try to keep up with these discussion board posts. I realize that it's getting toward the end of the quarter, and the quarter only gets more stressful as it reaches its conclusion. But still, please stay on top of the discussion boards. I was very pleased at the number of you who did stay on top of the discussion board this past week, because I always know it's a little more difficult when you have a paper due at the end of the week. And I am starting to get those papers graded. I should have all the grades posted by the end of this week. That is by Sunday. I always ask students to give me a week. And I don't foresee any problem getting your essays graded by that time. So remember that if anybody has any questions, you can email me, you can text me. And good luck with everything this week.